Hello once again everyone and welcome back to Neckbeard Stories with your friend Moonhorse. I'm, I'm Moonhorse. Hey. We're going to read a story from Reddit user Throwaway Trap 420 The tale of Throwaway Trap 420 and the Neckbeard. I'll preface this with the obvious. Throwaway account because like hell I want this story to get out and people recognize me. And yes, this did happen. It may have been hyped up a bit, but really, these events did happen, and I ask you respect that. This started last year, and only recently came to a close. I used to be a big Pokemon card game nerd, and had a large collection, as I enjoyed trading. I never really played the game, though. I hung out at my local game store, and you can imagine all the smelly, sweaty, overall gronk guys that hung there, too. This one, however, was Lord of Them All. Another important note is I am big into cross-dressing, trapping, and yes, I am a gay male, but can pass as a girl in looks and vocals. This is where the problem lay. This one guy, Lord of All Neckbeard, Slayer of All That Is Clean, played Pokemon. I say played, but man, did he really play it. The games, trading card game... Even a full Pokemon merch outfit on most days. Let's call him G. I was doing my thing and trading with the local guys and having a fun time when G rolls up. First time I've ever seen or smelt him and plops down way too close for comfort. The BO made me choke and his contact with my fair and moisturized skin was sure to give me eternal pimples. Before we'd even been introduced, he announced his name. I'm G. I'm new in town, but the ladies... He looks me right in the eye. Oh, call me cutie. I shit you not, he follows this with a wink. What's your name, gorgeous? I didn't want to respond. I was taken back by his put on... Eng oh, he had an English accent. And his stench, but... Being polite and sheepish, I muttered in my feminine voice. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Rachel. It's the only reply I could muster. Yeah, I gave him a fake name because it's not like my actual name is very feminine, but I really wanted none of this guy. After that, I shuffled over and, while dying inside from his odor, tried to pack up my folders. So as I did, something caught his eye and he pointed at a card I had. I don't remember what it was, but it was a legendary Pokemon I got from a friend that used to play. Is, is that for sale? I'd like to add that to my collection. It's all I'm missing before I can go pro. I stared in disbelief, but remembering myself, the card was pretty cheap. I just rolled my eyes. And I pulled it out and held it in the light so, so he could look at it, but I never expected this fucker to grab it from me. I snatched it back from his dirty hands in surprise before I even realized what I was doing. All I got was a dirty look from him and a concerned faces at the other side of the table. I was only having a look, he demanded while spitting each word he uttered. Sorry, I didn't mean to. It's all I could get in between his other rants about manners and how a lady should act. Ugh. I stood up and announced I had to get going, which wasn't a lie at all. G stood as well, claiming he had to catch his train soon. Fuck. Off. Walking to the entrance, I was quickly trailed by G from a short distance, who matched my speed and tried to cough for my attention. Turning around to see what he wants gave me the biggest chill I ever had. This greasy boy, about 30 centimeters from my face and grinning ear to ear with a glimmer in his eyes, your thong is showing. <laughs> he exclaims way too loudly for my liking. I went bright red in the face and with all my anger slapped this man into next week. He recoiled and I held my hand from the pain. I'm a little bitch, okay? He stood back up and fucking licked his lips and glared at me. I'll have you, Rachel, one way or another. Don't play hard to get or I'll, I'll bite you back. Creepy motherfucker. I turned and ran to my car and locked the doors. Yeah, I fucking bet. Called my boyfriend and cried on the phone. I was so scared, but little did I know, it wasn't close to over. I thought that was where I would see the last of G, but I was 
Oh, I was so wrong. If this all seems unbelievable so far, just you wait. Because this gets conspiracy theory levels of real quick. A week later, and I'd forgotten all about she. My worries were gone, and I was a happy little peanut. Thought about stopping at the game shop to buy some comics to read later in the week when I got bored. One foot inside, and it all comes back. The stench, the memory, the shivers. I realized the smell was fresh. She had to have been in here, too. I scanned around and luckily didn't see him. Being stealthy as I could, I crept over to the comics and cherry-picked my favorites. Moving to the counter, I feel someone watching me. I turn around and guess who is fucking lurking. I've been waiting for you, princess. Or should I say... My real name. She's grinning like he did before and chuckles to himself. Sees I get more shocked. I didn't really know what to do. Time froze and I felt myself stuck in the mud. He walked over and placed his hand on my hips and pulled me closer. I was absolutely paralyzed in fear. He leaned into my ear and whispered, I don't care if you're a guy. Be my lady and I'll give you the world. Ugh. Ugh. I had no response other than a quiet no, and he grins again. Press his greasy lips against mine, and thank God he did, because the taste and smell made me literally puke in my mouth. Oh, fuck. I snapped back to it, dropped the comics, and ran again. He shouted my real name after me as I ran to the car park, and I could tell he was waddling after me. Finally reaching my car, I got in and floored it. This time looking back to see him at the door glaring at me with what I'd only call evil intentions. I got home to my BF and told him everything. Cried a bit and started getting through it emotionally. And as you may guess, it doesn't stop here. Weeks and months following, I get constant friend requests on Facebook and Snapchat from spam accounts I knew would be him. I added the first ones I got, and that was enough to scare me with a load of dick pics and creepy poems. I blocked all random accounts going forward. We got mail from random places, too. All usually poems, and eventually could spot G's letters from the rest, given how shitty he was at half-closing them. What chills me the most is we kept getting knocks at our door and shouting in the street for my name. He proclaimed his love to me, sitting in the middle of of a middle-class suburban road countless times even after we called the police. They never seemed to catch him which really added to my worry. Wow. The worst part about all this is coming. This only happened a few weeks back and I'm still in shock. I woke to the sounds of a potted plant smashing on our back porch. BF didn't wake up because he's a heavy sleeper but I noticed a shadow moving down the back door from my vantage point in the upstairs bedroom. I wouldn't dare open the window to have a look, but I crept out of bed with my phone in hand in case ready to call the police. Standing on the top stair, I could see the back door ever so slowly creep open. Oh my god. And who do I see but a short, fat silhouette with a mild stench wafting up. Immediately, I called the police, and she took off. Dropping one of our screwdrivers from the shed on the porch, I explained everything to the responder, and they had an officer in around five minutes. She wasn't found on the property, but police say he's known to the local area for trespassing. But nothing as serious as breaking and entering. It didn't ease my mind that he wasn't really seen after that, and I never got the satisfaction I wanted by having him put away or punished for being a creep. God only knows what would happen if he got in the house quietly, but I'm thankful he's gone now. Holy fucking shit, you guys. That was horrifying. God damn. I really hope they fucking catch this guy. I really... And he fucking deserves to go to jail. That... That crosses the line from neck beardery right into fucking horror. I didn't expect the breaking and entering at the end. That... That... Wow. Fuck this guy, man. Just... <sighs> fucking wow. I, I... I don't really know what to say. That's... That's terrifying. That's fucking freaky. Uh, jeez. I, I mean, I know this is a throwaway account, and, and you know, you probably won't ever see this, but I, I hope you're okay. 
and seriously like security cameras something anything you can to protect yourself be fucking careful this guy sounds like a goddamn lunatic uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna end this video thank thanks everybody for watching i uh wow uh if if you like this if if you want to send in your own stories um you can send them to uh r slash uh, moon horse stories uh, I, I read everything that's there and if you want to support this show I have a Patreon and it sells shirts all that, all that good stuff jeez uh, again fuck this guy um, thank you though for watching uh, and I'll uh, I'll see you guys in the next video okay bye